Right, I'm in Sheffield Cathedral and I just wanted to, to make a video about this, this labyrinth here that's, um, that's been choked out. Um, there's a bit of information about what it's supposed to represent. It's a prayer labyrinth used to facilitate prayer, meditation and spiritual transformation. Yes. Um, so it's quite good fun, it's a maze. Um, I'll let you read that yourself if you want to by pressing pause but even though it doesn't say it if we look at the labyrinth and it's it's just a bit of chalked out pattern on the <coughs> on the floor here but there is a, a rosary in the middle which is obviously I would imagine um, is there to represent Christ or represent the resurrection or, or whatever something to do with Christianity so let's let's walk let's walk the labyrinth and there are stones around giving you bits of wooish information but let's follow the path because it takes you it's, it's quite good it's quite a good um, I don't know what the term is is it geometric design or something um, So as we go around this one here, as you take each step, consider what guides you, my feet. Uh, your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. So again, we've just got the usual wooish nonsense of trying to fit certain passages of the Bible in to our lives today, which is fine if you don't take it too seriously. Um, there's another one there. Random nonsense. Another one there. Reflect on your own journey of life. How is God with you in your journey? Well, he's not at all because he's not hampering me in any way. <clears throat> so we're going to now, we're going to the outside. The labyrinth isn't a maze, but instead it represents a path towards Jesus at the center. Oh, there we go. So it, it is Jesus at the center. It can feel confused and slow, but you are always moving inward, even though we're on the very outside edge now. We are moving inward to Jesus. So let's carry on round the outside. And of course then, because it's on the outside, on the outside of the kind of circle, then it winds into the inside and brings you inside. Oh, we're nearly there. We're nearly at Jesus. Oh, we seem to be going outwards again. We all come to Jesus eventually, I think, is the, is the moniker here. And we are here at Jesus. But the problem is, once you get to Jesus, represented by this rosary, you're at a dead end. Your life is going nowhere. I don't think these people have actually thought this through properly. And everybody who does this walk has to take that direction back into their life if they want any kind of meaning in their life if they want their life to progress that's the arrow that they have to take away from Jesus because that is a dead end there is nothing there of any great value to most people whereas that direction there is a lot of value to most people because that direction leads back to a meaningful life. I suppose some may disagree, but that's what we all have to do. We all have to carry on our lives and walk that way. We can't stay there. That's a dead end. So I don't think the people who've made this have actually thought it through philosophically very well but there you go that's just a little little video there and just pull back so we can see the the whole thing in uh, 
our beautiful cathedral. I'll just give you a quick glimpse of the rest of it, or at least some of it. Because it is a very beautiful building, not a huge cathedral. But a very nice space and very festive when they have the Christmas carols here. Here is the modern, more modern end. This was a new extension built in the 1950s, so it's, it's quite modern. And there's a cafe there, very nice cafe there, beautiful stained glass window above. Grade 1 listed building and then here's the main entrance and a shop where you can buy all sorts of goods at this time, very Christmassy, lots of Christmas goods. Bye for now. <laughs>